Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is the next video in this uh, EJS Express build where we are building uh, puppy power. And so far we've done the index and show route so we can see all the puppies and we can see an individual puppy. So next we want to be able to create puppies. That requires the new and create routes. The new is going to generate the page with uh, uh, the create a new puppy, which this one's pretty straightforward. We just have to res.render the new page so res.render puppy slash new okay I don't need to send it any information that just is good as it is and then we'll come back to create but this I have to actually make this template now so I have to go back to my views go back to puppy here create a new file called new.ejs I will copy the code over from a new and what I'm going to do is just for like I'm gonna take advantage that I already styled the article tag and put the form inside of that so that way it like centers the form so form and the form when the form gets submitted it should submit to slash puppy it's gonna make a post request to slash puppy so we're just gonna do that so that's what the form is going to do, make a post request to puppy. And uh, basically the form should have two things, an input of type equals text, uh, type equals text with a placeholder, place image URL here. And then most importantly is the name because that's how it shows up in the request body. So the name is and the name should always match the schema. So you, the simplest thing to do is whatever you called it in the schema is what it should be called here in the form. So IMG. And then we need a submit button. Input type equals submit because there's no other properties to the dog. It's the other one's likes and likes is always going to start at zero. Type submit uh, value of the submit form, which is going to be create dog and then we are done with this input tag and then that's that we have a submit form so now if I click if I refresh well right now there's no link to this new button so I need to go back to index and create a link so actually I'm just borrow the button I've already created over here back to the main page and just put that over here in index right below the h1 except this one's going to say create a new puppy or add a puppy add a puppy and then because we're not manifesting puppies so it would be puppy slash new is the, the the standard new route okay and again when we made our routes we can see that hey look it's slash new puppy slash new so back to that that adds the button so now if i refresh this there's a button again we'll come back and style all this stuff a little bit more later but if I click on add a puppy it takes me to this page and I don't see a form hmm okay let's examine why don't we see a form on the new page article I see now let me just see is it oh it is here it's right down here and that's because of the way I styled it. So we'll, we'll fix that later. I'll have to create some classes. Okay. Or I could create a CSS file for each particular page, which maybe I might end up having to go that route. Um, or I could just you make, make different classes. Whatever. Um, but yeah, there's the form. It's all the way down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do... It's just because that's going to bug me if I leave that there. I'm going to add a a class. I'm actually just give this an ID form. Okay. ID form. We'll say form container is the ID for this. And this will have the ID of form. And we'll go with that. 
let's go to our styles and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, so if I make an article, so basically hashtag um, form container, that's an ID. And IDs have carry more weight than referring to a particular tag. So these should override those particular. And I, again, I can always take a look at the specificity. So see, this has a specificity score of two. This has a specificity score of 100. Okay, so this one takes precedence. When there's a conflict, uh, this will take precedence. So this one I can just say um, flex, uh, flex, well, I'll say justify content. Um, I want the justify content um, flex start. I want the, at the bottom, at the top. So if I do that, what do I get? Okay, that moves the form up to the top. I still kind of want that centered. Um, so we'll say text align center. See if that does anything for me. Not really. Um, let's try align items center. Let's see what happens there. Uh, let's see here. How's this relative? So this is article form container. So that is centered. So I want to. I really want to center this container. So in that case, I want the container to have margin auto. So that way the container centers. There we go. Perfect. see the container wasn't centered but the text the stuff the form stuff inside of it was centered to the container so that's why this is such a useful tool for like styling to kind of like see what is what okay because everything in css i mean everything in html is just boxes on top of boxes inside of boxes okay cool and then i probably should style this back to main page button before uh, I, I will do that after okay so that we see the form and again we have the new button it takes us to the form now we need when we submit the form we need to make sure that the create route does something so in our controller we need to make sure this create function does something right now it just sends the word create so what I want to do is in the request body I'm going to receive the data from the form which is just literally the image URL which is exactly what I need so I don't really don't need to do much here I can just basically say create the new puppy puppy dot create um, and I just pass in the rec body that's it that creates the puppy okay but just make sure you use the await keyword and that the functions async okay always make sure first you got to use the await every time you do a database call and you got to make sure that the function is async okay and then now I can just redirect people back to the main page res dot redirect back to slash puppy Okay, and again, what am I doing here? I'm redirecting to the main page. So I submit the form, it'll create the new puppy, and so let me refresh. Let me, actually I already have puppy images over here. So I'm gonna copy this image, copy image address. Say, hey, this is the URL I want to add. Create the dog. And let's just see if it got added and there it is okay so I'm able to successfully add a dog I click on add a puppy it takes me to the new page which has the form to add a puppy if I fill out the form okay copy search at the copy image address okay and then I paste it in the form Then I hit the form the form triggers the create route which creates a dog and then just sends me back to the main page and then now I have that puppy there Okay, neat. Okay, so we have a, a nice puppy power. Okay, I'll see you in the next video where we'll discuss how to do the uh, edit and update routes. So if you want to like update a dog, I'll see you in a moment. I'll see you there.